What's really interesting is that when the Cayuga ducks first started laying their eggs about a week ago, they were actually like a dark black, like crazy black. Hi, buddy boy. Mm -hmm. Hi, how's it going? Huh? Alright, let's go. We're gonna go check on the pond today. We gotta see if the ducks and geese can go out here today. I don't know, what do you think, Toby? It's been kind of one of those up and down weather patterns lately. Toby, sit. Sit. Yes, good boy. It's been going from like 40s or 50s even during the day to right now it's about 12 degrees. The pond was completely melted yesterday. Uh, it was open, everybody was having fun, enjoying the weather. Uh, now it looks like it's got a little bit of ice, but let's see if it's something that we can break through so that we can get the ducks and geese out here. That's really thin. Ow. So after a quick check of the pond, it looks like this is definitely going to be a situation where I can bring the ducks and geese out. <laughs> Release the Kraken! <laughs> It looks like the ducks are doing a pretty good job of breaking through the ice on their own, so I don't think I'll have to do much work for them. I'm gonna go get the rest of the flock. <laughs> then we have our stragglers. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. There you go. Come on, go join the flock. <laughs> Being a good herder, Toby? Yeah. Let's add the geese to this waterfowl cocktail. Waterfowl cocktail. 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 Easy, Justin. No need for that, man. No need for that at all. Alright, you guys don't have to stay in here today. I'm going to let you out. Freedom, you know? Up that 
it always cracks me up to see waterfowl contend with ice. You're just so darn ungraceful. <laughs> Dude. Now let's go see what our egg count looks like this morning. All right, let's see what we got. There we go. One. So it looks like we got 11 eggs this morning and that's out of a possible 13 egg layers. And only one of them is frozen and so that one's gonna go to Toby Dog. So I'm really thankful that the ducks have really turned on their laying in the last two weeks. I went from getting actually zero eggs a day to, yeah, about 11, I got 12 yesterday. So, so my ducks are pretty much going at full capacity at this point. So I'm really thankful for that. So one of the interesting things though that I've noticed with the ducks that are laying the eggs is that you know, some of them are looking very different than others. And so I'm not sure if you can see the difference in color between these two eggs, but this one is much whiter than this one. This one's like almost like a gray color. The reason for that is because it's from two different types of ducks. So the white eggs are from my khaki Campbells who are the majority of my layers in the flock. This gray egg actually comes from the Cayuga duck. So the Cayugas are actually on loan to us from some friends. We've been duck sitting for them all winter and they'll probably take them back this summer, but for right now we've got them and we've got them laying eggs. They're the black ducks that have those green iridescent colored feathers that look really cool in the sunlight. What's really interesting is that when the Cayuga ducks first started laying their eggs about a week ago, they were actually like a dark black, like crazy black, like an awful omen black. And it was so cool to see. I mean, for people who are playing Stardew Valley, you'd probably think it was like a void egg or something. And what happens is when the Cayugas are first starting to lay their eggs, they actually have like a black colored bloom on them. As their egg laying season goes on, it gets lower and lower. And so that's how you get these gray eggs versus a nice bright white egg like this. I'm really curious to see what like a cross between a Pekin and a Cayuga or a Khaki Campbell and a Cayuga looks like. And so that's why I've actually really started the hatching process, you guys. So uh, give it a little time and we'll see what turns up. Why are there only four geese out there right now? Oh, there you are. What are you doing? I can tell you got that look on your face. Like you're looking for a spot to lay. Come on, girl. I got a place for you. Come on. Listen, your gander's screaming. He's wondering where you are. Come on. I gotta watch that one. I think she's gonna try to lay an egg pretty soon. But yeah, speaking of geese eggs, I've been getting quite a few of them. I'm getting about 12 or 14 eggs a week right now. I've been eating some of them. I haven't personally manned up and tried to eat one myself because I'm afraid I might be allergic to them, but I've been giving them to people to eat. I've also started the process of trying to hatch them. So in that same set of eggs that I've got the black Cayuga eggs hatching, I'm also hatching a handful of geese eggs. So we're gonna see what comes out of that mix. One more today. Yeah, like I said, they have been laying pretty steady right now. It's a very narrow window that you're gonna get geese eggs, but uh, I'm taking advantage of it while I can. So you guys know that duck eggs are probably about like one and a half times the size of your normal chicken egg. Well, compare that duck egg to a goose egg. Aside from the goose eggs that I have in the incubator right now, I actually am starting to hold a collection of goose eggs that I'm gonna to try to have the geese hatch. I'm noticing that one of those pilgrim geese, uh, actually the one who was wandering away from everybody else, has started to get more and more broody each morning. And so what I'm thinking of doing is sneaking in there, putting a huge clutch of eggs in one night, seeing if she sits on it all night, and if that's the batch that we can try to hatch out with the geese themselves. It's so much less work for me to have the parents raise the birds versus me have to brood them myself. Don't worry, Margie, I didn't forget about you. Rise and shine, there you go, girl. How are you doing, huh? Can I pick you up? No, okay. Oh, Margie. Love you, Margie. Come on, Margie. Get your scratch, come on. You don't have to be scared of your scratch, girl. This is for you, dig in. I brought you some lunch, Margie. 
So Marguerite, our lone chicken, is doing pretty well. She's not all that lonely. She usually has the geese for company. I just happened to let them go out to the pond today, so she'll be flying solo for a bit. Allison still has a bit of a grudge against Marguerite. She's developed this idea that Marguerite is kind of like Cersei Lannister, and she's hatched this massive plot to kill all the other chickens and be the queen of all the barnyard. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. I'm not sure if I totally buy that one, but it's a theory. I've actually had a growing affection for Margie right now. I love you, Margie. I've even taken to calling her Margie. You know, my buddy Jason Contreras over at uh, Sow the Land, which is an awesome channel that you guys should all go subscribe to. I will leave a link for it down below. He's got this one crazy chicken that he calls Bernice. Bernice! Who's that? Bernice! Bernice. This is the, the boss lady hand right here. Oh, yeah. It's pretty much a similar situation that I have going on here. How you doing, Margie? How's it going this morning, Margie? Huh? How's it going? Come on, Margie. I don't know why she likes the geese water so much. She always prefers it over fresh water. Let's see if Margie got a snake. Oh yeah. And right here is my breakfast. Yeah, Margie has been laying very consistently. I personally really appreciate it. You can't live off one egg a day, but it's nice to have the farm fresh production for me. You know, it's kind of interesting to have eggs from small, medium, and large size. Such a difference. Look at that. I know Margie's egg is a little bit tiny, but that goose egg is, what, three times the size? More? I don't know. The ducks and geese are still enjoying their pond. With both the geese out there as well as Toby standing watch, I'm feeling okay with just letting them be out there for now. I'll be right up front working on a project, but let's uh, cue the time lapse. So I've been getting a lot of emails lately from you guys asking if I'm gonna be selling ducklings this year. And the answer is no, I'm not. I'm working at a scale that's just too small and, and the logistics of shipping are just too complicated for me to be able to really do that in any sort of way that both makes sense for me from a time perspective and makes sense for me from a profit perspective. And so I'm gonna pass on that. But what I am gonna do again this year is I will be selling hatching eggs. So if you guys are interested in buying some of the descendants of the Quacken, feel free to check out the link that I'm gonna leave right below and, and you can go to my website and you can actually place an order for hatching eggs. I'm gonna try to keep it as affordable as I possibly can. Um, but you know, just know that you know there's both the cost of the eggs and then there's cost of shipping. And, and by the way, don't be intimidated by trying to hatch eggs yourself. It's relatively easy, you can get incubators pretty cheaply. Uh, so I would encourage people, even if you're a newbie, to give it a shot because there's something magical about seeing those little baby birds just hatch right out of the eggs after sitting in a little warm box for about a month. So if you guys are interested and you want to try giving it a shot to hatch your own flock of the quacken, uh, check it out and uh, feel free to give it a buy.